Can the new ChatGPT take your channel to the next level? Until now, ChatGPT 3.5 has been free to use, but the new and improved GPT-4 is behind a paywall, promising better and more detailed responses. So let's find out which one is better by using YouTube-related prompts. First things first, let's generate some video ideas on GPT 3.5. What are some common misconceptions about visiting London for the first time? So as you can see, it's given me five different misconceptions that I could turn into a script. We've got it always rains in London, London is too expensive, Londoners are unfriendly, and it gives some basic background information for each of them. But now let's add the same prompt into GPT-4 to see if there's any difference. To access it, you need to upgrade your account to GPT Plus and select GPT-4 from the drop down menu. So the first thing I've noticed with this response is that it's much longer. It's actually given me three more options to choose from. In general, the answers are pretty similar. You've got the same points about weather, the costs, but it is definitely more detailed. And there's actually some much more interesting options here as well, like London not being representative of the whole UK. That is something that people who live outside of London will say. So for the detail and the extra options, I think GPT-4 gets the first point. So now let's generate a script based on one of these facts. Back on GPT 3.5, I'm going to take this second one here about London being expensive and add another prompt. Write me a YouTube script based on this fact, and I'll just paste the fact into there. So it is now writing me a YouTube script based on the misconception of London being expensive. And so far, it looks pretty good. It's got an intro and outro, it's elaborated on affordable accommodation tips, inexpensive meals, and free things to do. So at the very least, we could use this as a starting point to write better YouTube videos. In terms of actual information, it is quite generic overall, but again, it's fine for a starting point. But what happens when we add the same prompt into GPT-4? Let's take the most similar answer from the list and add, write me a YouTube script based on this fact paste it in and here is our GPT-4 script which is again much much longer and reading through it I think it has a better intro and outro. It does generally make some similar points as GPT-3.5. Both of these responses talk about accommodation first then dining then attractions but the main difference again is the detail. For example, in the accommodation section here, GPT 3.5 says, instead of fancy hotels, consider staying in a hostel or a budget hotel. That is such generic information that it could be said about any city in the world. And whereas the GPT 4 version says a similar thing, it also suggests specific areas of the city to look for cheaper accommodation in. And it's the same in the food section too. GPT 3.5 mentions some specific markets for cheap food, and GPT 4 mentions the same places but adds extra details like specific costs and examples of affordable chain restaurants. So clearly GPT-4 wins again if you want to use scripts straight out of the AI. But that is not something I recommend doing anyway. It's a much better idea to edit AI scripts yourself to add some more personality and at the very least you should try improving your scripts using the AI. So with an extra prompt can GPT-3.5 add a similar level of detail as GPT-4? For example let's take the inexpensive meal section and ask the AI to add more details to this paste the section into there and this now does elaborate on the original text but it's still very generic it mentions types of cuisine you can find in each market but to be honest it's not that helpful so what happens when you do the same thing in gpt4 and there you go just look at the level of detail in this response it's naming specific places to go specific deals to look out for Imagine if you use this prompt on the entire script, you're going to have a video that is full of amazing insights. So that's one more point to GPT-4. Another method I use to improve my scripts is I take the auto-generated intro and tell the AI to make this YouTube intro faster and more engaging. And there you go, just look at these two different responses. Once again, I think the GPT-3 version is a bit more generic and a bit more vague, whereas 4 has written a shorter, snappier intro, and that makes it 4 for 4 for GPT-4. But what about repurposing these longer scripts into short-form content? Take the most interesting part of this script and rewrite it for a 30 second video. So GPT 3.5 has understood the brief and written me a shorter version of this script. So I can now use this to make a YouTube short or a TikTok and putting the same prompt into GPT 4 once again gives you a similar but slightly more effective result. It's also added some emojis in there for some reason. This script is even shorter, but it's less generic with more details. That's another point to GPT 4. Next, let's try and create some video titles. To make things fair, I'm gonna use this script from GPT-4 in both examples 
examples. So in GPT-3, I'll add a new prompt. Write me some clickable YouTube titles based on this script. Paste it in and there you go. It's given me 10 title ideas. Now let's add the same prompt into GPT-4 and it's actually only given me eight titles to choose from, which to be honest, are very similar to GPT-3 in terms of quality. So I actually think GPT-3 wins this round because it's given us more options. Now let's try some thumbnail ideas. What are some clickable thumbnail ideas based on this script? Okay, well, I've got to say these are some actually terrible responses from GPT-3. It's given me 10 ideas, but most of them suggest way too much text, which just wouldn't work for a good thumbnail design. And predictably, at this point, GPT-4 has suggested some much better ideas. There's less of them, but these are much more along the lines of what you would actually see on YouTube. So if you already use ChatGPT to help you create content, then GPT-4 is well worth it for that extra detail. If you're still a beginner, I'd still play around with that free version first. And if you want to learn how to get the best YouTube responses from any version of ChatGPT, then you need to watch this video next. It's going to help you create more content in less time.